We are not the directors of our lives. God is the director. We may not see him working, but he's working behind the scenes of our lives. He's working behind the curtain. He is deeply involved in day-to-day -day lives of people. God is involved. And nothing happens without his permission. Nothing happens without his knowledge. Passion for God. Hunger for him. The desire for more of him. Just like John the Baptist said, let Christ increase and I decrease. Stripes on many occasions would take his tin trumpet, get to the market, stand on anti hill, and speak about Christ. Without minding about whether the soldiers are going to kill him or not. And indeed, in many cases, he was arrested and tortured for Christ. He used that pain that he went through to witness to many people. Because I remember very well one day when he was preaching in the market. His clothes were torn in pieces. And his body was full of the marks of stripes, the marks of the beatings, the marks of the torture by Idi Amin soldiers. I would say that that one, being my spiritual father, the man who led me to Christ, is an inspiration for me. A man whose life was not as much important as the message of Christ. A man that laid himself down for other people and uh, even at his age of 75 walking with the support of a stick and going door to door and winning young people like me to Christ that indeed was a challenging experience for me and it inspires me all the time to live for God and to preach the gospel like he did I think that's something that keeps ringing in my heart all the time. There's very few people today that are willing to forget themselves, that are willing to lay down their lives for the sake of the kingdom of God. That's what my book is about. My book is about God, not about ourselves. That passion for God has made the believers in Uganda to put God first in their lives. And uh, they, are, they, they are so hungry for God. I, I can recall very well in the days of Idi Amin when all the churches, churches were shut down in Uganda and people would go and cry in the bush and pray in the bush. So it's not about the building, it's not about, it's not about the place of worship. It's about God. It's about God. God is ready to take the front seat and to take the driver's seat of this country because human beings have no answers, they have no solutions. That's what we have learned in our nation of Uganda. When everything collapsed, the economy collapsed during the days of Idi Amin, we had no commodities like salt, no soap for washing. I remember washing clothes with, with papaya leaves. I remember my mother burning, burning grass to make salt. When we reach that extent in life, you have to turn your hope to God. And America can put their confidence in God today and let God drive the events of this country.